ready. All right. A very good evening and a very warm welcome to one and all. Welcome to respective principal, faculty members, and all our dear students. Firstly, I would like to start by congratulating you all for your outstanding results. We are so glad that you all have crossed this milestone. Well, when we set out to make choices for education, it's not only the name tag of the institute that we focus upon, but also what value it propagates and how it deals with its students. At RD National College, it is our endeavor to ensure the holistic growth of our students who are globally aware citizens and equipped to overcome the challenges that are thrown at them. Newer times are bringing forth new avenues and careers and subject priorities are changing. So the faculty of RD National College wishes to orient you about the various career options that are available for 12th pass students across the streams of commerce, humanities, and science to ensure that you make the right choice and the right career move. Moving on, our very dynamic principal, Dr. Neha Jaktiani Ma, is a known name in Mumbai Academia, a PhD from SNDT University and a gold medalist from University of Mumbai. Ma'am is an avid researcher and a published author with trio of books to her credit, with the first one being published by L.A.P. Lambert and listed in the National Library of Germany. Ma'am has been a part of the prestigious educators delegation to universities in UK and Australia. Ma'am has been conferred with COVID-19 Game Changer Award, National Talent Search Award, Global India Excellence Achievement Award, and Lifetime Achievement Award for her outstanding contribution in the field of education for youth empowerment by Ministry of Youth Affairs. Ma'am was also felicitated by Honorable Governor of Maharashtra, Shri Bhagat Singh Koshyari Ji, for being a COVID warrior. I would now like to invite our principal, Dr. Neha Jakyani Ma'am, to address the audience. Thank you so much, Suman, for that very, very generous introduction. A famous philosopher said, don't be pushed by the fears in your mind, but be led by the dreams in your heart. If people doubt how far you can go, go so far that you can't hear them anymore. Good evening and a very, very warm welcome to the orientation of careers after 12. First of all, a huge congratulations to each and every one of you for successfully coming out with flying colors in this absolutely uncertain pandemic times. You, have, you will go down in the annals of history of a batch which didn't attend college, finished your 10th, didn't attend the first year of college, didn't attend the second year, physical classes, just attended a few months of classes and went on to then pass out, give an offline exam and pass out flying colors. So COVID taught us an important lesson that life is not about Greetings to one everything that we want, but about appreciating everything that we have. And teachers quickly adapted from chalk and talk, they went to log in and talk. And it's something very, very unusual that in all of you have managed to do so well in these times. Which brings us to a very important crossroad. Now what? Which is a very, very important question. Today, RD National College has taken the initiative of orienting you all about all the streams, humanities, sciences, and the commerce streams, about what you can do after 12th standard. Your 10th and 12th is not relevant anymore. Those were milestones to get into a college. But once you have finished this, very, very importantly, whatever you select now will determine what you do for the rest of your life. So take some time, make an informed choice, think about very carefully, and the important thing is read about it, introspect, don't take a stream because your friends are taking it, because you ultimately, you have to lead your life. So take your time, absorb everything that all the faculty are orienting you, and make sure that you make an informed choice. Also today, we will be orienting you about how to fill the form for your degree courses and also if you select RD National College, I can promise you it's one of the best colleges located in the heart of Mumbai, the queen of suburbs, Bantra. We have state-of-the-art infrastructure with an auditorium, multi-utility sports center, basketball court, botanical garden. We have upgraded technology, secured Wi-Fi enabled campus. 
we have uh, state of the art computers we have all our environment initiatives super excellent experienced faculty undergraduate research also very good opportunities with academia industry partnerships placements and internships and of course our hallmark intercollege fest which develop your personality and get in holistic development so if you decide to take adi national college i'm sure it's going to be the best choice and it's going to be an exciting journey into a very bright future so one of you all the very best because i always tell everybody that nobody can predict human progression i don't know who of you is going to become a ceo an entrepreneur a startup specialist an analyst the sky is the limit so wishing you all a very very happy and bright future and the reason teachers do this orientation is because the teacher touches infinity you never know where the influence is going to end so absorb everything learn everything wishing you all the very best and i conclude with a famous quote of an olympic gold medalist who said that dreams require effortless sleep when its aims require sleepless efforts thank you so much thank you ma'am thank you very much for your words of encouragement and motivation Moving on, I would like to now call upon Coordinator BMS Department, Ms. Nikisha Kukreja, ma'am, to orient the student about the various career options that we have in the field of commerce. Good evening to all. I am here to explain about the courses under commerce. Commerce is one of the most widest available options. It has one of the most widest available options. So whether you want to become a banker, you want to become a financial analyst, you want to become a marketing specialist, you want to become a sales person, you want to become a PR person, or you want to start your own ad agency, you want to start your own business. If you understand most of the entrepreneurs. are from the field of commerce or management so under commerce we have the bachelor of commerce which is a very traditional course then we have bcom accounting and finance which is commerce but with specialization in accounting and finance we have the very famous bachelor of management studies and there are other courses also like bbi and bfm however the three major courses or the major selling courses are commerce bas and bms is ko the उसको बोल सर मांग रहे मेरे को ये प्रेजेंटेशन के लिए चाहिए जस्ट अ सेक ठीक है सो फर्स्ट वी गो ऑन टू बैचलर ऑफ कॉमर्स बैचलर ऑफ कॉमर्स इज समथिंग व्हिच इज वेरी वाइड इट्स अ ट्रेडिशनल कोर्स यू कुड टेक अप फाइनेंस यू कुड टेक अप जॉब्स इन बैंकिंग आफ्टर कंप्लीटिंग बैचलर ऑफ कॉमर्स यू हैव द ऑप्शन ऑफ अकाउंटेंसी एंड यू हैव द ऑप्शन ऑफ बिजनेस मैनेजमेंट इन बैचलर ऑफ कॉमर्स इट गिव्स यू अ होलिस्टिक व्यू अबाउट एंटायर कॉमर्स and it makes you a complete management professional if you take up commerce under your for 3 years the opportunities that are available after bcom are many you can become a tax analyst and of course alongside bcom most of the students opt for chartered accountancy for company secretary they go in for icwa you could start preparing for your cfa and you could also become a bcom graduate and the jobs available are tax analyst audit analyst and accounts executive sales and marketing executive customer service sales marketing pr and many other opportunities which are available after bcom you could get into hr you could get into marketing into finance almost every industry needs a marketing or a management person and you can do that after you take up the bcom course which is called as the bachelors of commerce course the other very sought after course is bms bms is called a self finance course or you could also call it as a professional course the difference here is the number of subjects in bms are way more and once you enter bms in the first year you have general management whereas when you enter into the second year you either take up marketing or finance or human resources and you specialize into it that's why bms is called a mini mba because all the subjects of mba are encompassed in these 3 year undergraduate program 
if you take up marketing you could become a market research specialist you could get into ad agencies you could do pr you could do digital marketing which is very trending today you could take up finance and you could get into a banking sector you could get into tax you could get into auditing if you take up hr you could get human resources or audit or, or administrative jobs the opportunities after bms again with bms you can do cfa you can do cs you can do ca and after bms you can do anything like you could do mba you could do mms you could Uh, pursue law or you could take up any other degree and what are the job opportunities after bms humongous job opportunities so almost every sector almost every industry you can enter after doing a bachelor of management studies because as i earlier earlier i said that management is something which is required in all the firms whether it is a tech firm whether it's a law firm whether it's any firm you need a manager to manage that So you could become a marketing analyst, a strategist, a research analyst. Take up finance, become an equity analyst, become a banker, become a risk analyst. Uh, get into digital marketing, which is trending. Get into taxation and get into companies like PwC. Get into companies like Deloitte, Ernest and Young. Take up portfolios. Get into the commodities market. If you've heard about the share markets, stock markets. all of that you could do if you take up bms as a course of course ad agencies pr all that is also there next is bachelor of commerce but specialization in accounting and finance which is again a professional self finance course this course specializes if you have the interest into finance numbers then baf is the course for you because this there are a lot of accounting papers in baf alongside finance papers of course baf also gives a touch of management as well so it makes you it's it's also called like a mini ca because you have lot of accounting papers in baf opportunities after baf baf as i said is more accounting and finance the name says bcom accounting finance so your subjects your learning skills are going to be in the accounting field you're going to know everything about accounts from fa1 to fa7 in ty and it is going to be very easy for you to pursue chartered accountancy because most of it is learned in the syllabus of baf so if you want to become an equity analyst tax analyst audit analyst or if you want to get into fields of management you can take up this course educational opportunities after baf you can do ca you can do cfa you can do icwa you can do acca anything related to baf and of course law also goes hand in hand with baf because accounting and corporate law works together right now i have just briefed you about all of this but if you need any guidance in detail you can visit us at rd national college from 9 am to 3 am and we 3 pm and we'll be available to solve all your queries guide you through your journey and make you understand what all these fields are all about other than these three sought after fields you can also do bbi which is bachelor's in banking and finance which talks about specifically banking and finance bachelor's of financial markets which talks about the financial markets like commodities and the derivative market stock market and also bba which is very similar to bms but it is called as bachelor's of business administration thank you and over to you suman thank you ma'am thank you very much i'm sure everybody is not a great deal about various career options that we have in commerce Moving on, we now have Professor from the Physics Department, Dr. Milan Kulkarni Sir, who is going to orient the students about the various career options available in the field of science. Yes. Uh, thank you, Suman. Uh, respected uh, Principal, Dr. Neha Jagdeep Singh, Ma'am, uh, Dr. Kiran Savan Sir, all respected uh, Vice Principal, HODs, Professor in Charge, and Coordinators, and my dear student. Uh, i congratulate all students for their successful completion of hsc and uh, all the best dear students for your bright future and uh, today we will um, focus uh, what are the opportunities in uh, science and technology basic science and uh, technology based on the basic models of basic science that is physics chemistry mathematics statistics zoology botany and applied technology like biotechnology computer science and information technology we know what is the information that is the transformation of a data that in uh, in terms of computer generally data is stored in zero and one 
but in other form there are different technology of different techniques of image processing and based on that we can conclude our result now first uh, i will uh, focus on what are the careers in what there are different careers in pharmaceutical company seed companies biotechnology uh, firms scientific publisher you can write different types of scientific papers you can publish herbaria botanical gardens and uh, you can generally you can also work as a botanical illustrator these are the different careers in chemistry. then uh, next is careers in chemistry in terms of chemistry in chemistry you can opt if you opt uh, of the chemistry then you can uh, become a different types of technician uh, like uh, here food industry you can check the quality of food in rubber industry how we can make different types of rubber for different uh, purpose like in aer aerospace engineering again uh, then petroleum industry like ongc bharat petroleum in drdo that is the defense research and development organization you can go for upsc apsc therefore you can make different types of polymer that is the thermosetting and thermoplastic you can heat or reheat or reclaim that is under the category of thermoplastic engineering you can use how we can use different types of products different types of material how we can enhance mechanical properties chemical properties based on the basic knowledge basic fundamentals of chemistry and these are the different um, uh, approach this in chemistry next is uh, mathematics and statistics um th these are the uh, different our uh, careers in mathematics and statistics you can go in uh, investment banking actually the profession accountancy and professional services retail banking computing and information technology we can find out the we can make different types of archaeological uh, survey that is uh, based on carbon dating and we can use different formulas that is like a derivative matrices in in ima for image processing again if you want to make different types of product different types of very defined product and based on mathematical equations like uh, how we can find out the uh, straight line then how we can find out slope then based on that we can find out the total amount of electrical energy total amount of thermal energy uh, uh, for a particular very defined product therefore again these are the different uh, uh, area areas where you can Um, of that is the statistical research again there are different types of kite test uh, deviation standard deviation variance uh, coding you can make coding you can go for again um, uh, quantum computing also then data science analysis and financial planner you can make using goals see we can make different types of financial planner also in business and we can optimize or minimize your loss or you can enhance or optimize your profit based on mathematical as well as statistical techniques next is um, this is the e equal to mc square that is the e energy m mass e speed of light that is a famous einstein equation but now dear student now current era the famous equation e equal to a but what is the e e means education and f is future that is education your future depends on your uh, uh, education and now i'll focus on career opportunities in physics uh, dear student there are different research areas different like uh, space and earth sciences then research in you can go for atc air traffic control in um, aerospace engineering uh, you can uh, design wind panels solar panels medical uh, medical technology you can uh, uh, take different types of radiograph communication technique using satellite using fiber optical using fiber optical you can your transfer you can convert your data into light and you can transfer with speed of light that is 3 lakh km per second again a communication purpose at the different of medical and environment side these are the opportunities in um, physics then dear student next is uh, careers in zoology and this in uh, zoology you can go for different types of genetical study you can do stem technology neurosciences you can uh, you can uh, study the, how we can what is the amount of current we can pass to that a particular human body or particular um, uh, animal body okay and based on that you can take different types of data then entomology dairy sciences medical lab technical virology these are the diff different opportunities um, under the category of uh, under the subject of zoology then uh, applied science we are sure and applied science is under the category of that is a uh, applied science that is the based on technology that is the based on the basic theoretical models generally used in physics that is the 
uh, digital technology as well as this is the mathematics and these are the uh, uh, different types of opportunities in um, uh, in uh, computer science you can go for data analysis you can uh, data mining the medical lab technology you can again uh, scan different types of different types of image processing based on the dear student uh, laplace inverse as well as fourier transform theory pharmaceutical cells representative you can make different types of modeling using basic uh, computer science technology uh, next is uh, career opportunities in information technology you can go for network administrative information technology manager computer support um, uh, special aid data security you can uh, go for again for sand that is uh, a, a different types of network theory technician database administrator, uh, administrator information system manager these are the different opportunities in uh, information technology which is again under the category of applied technology again based on basic uh, principles of physics and uh, mathematics also uh, science uh, next is uh, biotechnology these are the different opportunities you can again uh, go for different types of research and uh, development scientists uh, uh, skin um, technologies again uh, you can uh, work for rna dna these are the business development manager regulator of uh, affairs quality you can go for again quality control differences of research operations um, in a, a, re a real time and these are the different um, com uh, companies or where you can of your uh, goal that is uh, here simpson ngo biocon bharat tech tcs Okay, these are the different companies, and uh, again, uh, these are the uh, placement and internship where you can uh, specify your goals. Simple like Piramal, then uh, Infosys, okay, uh, Mahindra and Tech. Okay, thank you, yes, thank you so much, and all the best of your. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much for orienting the students all about the different options that they have in the field of science. I'm sure that was very helpful for them. Thank you. Next, we have Professor uh, from the Department of History, Dr. Kiran Savan, sir, who is going to orient the students about the various career options that are available in the field of humanities. Over to you, sir. Thank you so much, Suman, ma'am. And uh, again, I welcome all the students uh, of those who have cleared their 12th standard and HSC in the COVID time. Uh, I'm sure that there are students who are opted for the arts and there are always says that the students who are in the arts, if you can't be a doctor and engineer, there are so many varieties of option which are available, which you can get into the humanities. It is there is a preconceived notion what we have here in our mind that the students who have scored 90% and 80% can go into for the arts or humanity. Guys, the time have changed. Believe me, here the students who are with the 80% and 95%, they have opted for the arts and there are lots of the options which you have in the humanities. So what does this humanities and the arts exactly do? So here we have the most important that that deals with your developing certain skills. And what are the skills you require when you are into the art stream? It touches your critical thinking, your your interpersonal communication, your uh, your reading and writing skills. So, is it that the critical thinking is prized in a market? Then, of course, if we'll see, uh, if we'll ask the question about the critical thinking, is a dad is a your dad is a critical about your the way how you learn the things right yeah, from beginning? Know, yes, and the answer is of course. So, uh, how useful any employer here who wants to, you know, the people to be a, not only simply say yes and no, but I believe that they should use and apply their mind for any particular reason uh, where the arts and humanities that deals and builds the critical thinking with the subjects like history or English, or it could be psychology and so on. Look at the another here about the, the this, this, this presentation that talks about the writing skill. Is the advanced writing a prize skill in the market? Absolutely. No matter whatever career you choose, and believe me here, the humanities, you have to keep on writing and writing and writing, especially when it comes to the, the, the humanities. But here you can't write the data as it is. It may be from the books or maybe from reference or whatever. The data need to be First, need to be collect. It has to be analyze. It has to be uh, collate. Then it has to be analyze. 
and then you can come to with a certain sort of a statements and therefore uh, a kind of a writing or advanced writing is a very very important same that goes once with the you have a writing and then you have to make the reports and you believe me here there are so many companies which want who are good in the report it could be in the banking it could be the insurance it could be the manufacturing and there is a wide range of varieties i think same is apply with a number of languages guys even if you are a simple graduate in today's time and if you know a language like a chinese or a german i'm sure that you have been paid your beginning salary would be more than a 50 60000 in the market okay we require such student who are having the basic graduates it could be arts or it could be commerce but with the foreign languages i think the field is open for you what are the subjects we have in the arts with our college we have history we have a psychology we have a political science we have a uh, economics that's we offer uh, we have a hindi these are the subjects what we have as i said that bachelor in arts that is ba which offers you not only the flexibility and the cultural understanding but it helps to develop your critical thinking your communication skills in this 3 years believe me wherever you go for an any interview with your resume the first thing would be asked what skills have you learned what have done in your 3 to 4 years and believe me the national college what we have just next to the your your the bandra station that is hardly 5 minutes away which offers number of options in our stream let us take it with the bachelor of english what you can do it's not only in the teaching but believe me here the journalism the advertising the advertisement you have the editors the script writer the radio you have so many as a linguistic specialist there are so many options which you have with the english and believe me english the department in rd national college not only with undergraduate but we also have with the post graduation so once you are in national once you are nationalized here you here are here for 5 years and we have one of the wonderful uh, department that is with the department of english coming to the next that is the bachelor of history uh myself and we have number of other faculties who deals with the bachelor of history guys here it is said that you the human progress the country the state cannot progress without knowing and understanding the history and there is a wide variety of option right from archaeology tourism museology you have the librarian the director the management and the most important which is even if any engineering or a medical students who opt for when they have to go for any sort of a civil service examination and that is here they opt for history and we teach how to prepare for such exams right from beginning because we also have the upsc career center or civil service career center in rd national college look at the another a very vibrant option what we have in our college and that is the psychology what the covid has given to us and how many of the people you could see there is a divorce there was a debate there were so many mental issues and the psychology department which offers with a number of other options and the jobs here the clinic you can become the clinical psychologist you can become a counselor you can into the come into the educational field you can become the you know the research role there are so many varieties of option which we have the psychology again let me tell you here the psychology is not only with a at the ug level but we also offers the pg in the psychology which is one of the best department in the vicinity of this mumbai coming next to the department of economics economics we lack the good economist still in our country we haven't seen the nobel laureates from the from the economics i think a real student of the economics can do a lot of difference not only to the country but to the entire humanity so here you have the lot of job opportunities that starts with you are not only with a banking and an economist but you can see as an accountant in the financial consultant in the management in the education in research so there is a wide variety of options which are available with economics believe me the economics again here is one of the most dedicated department with a with a nationalites and we also have started with a, the post graduation in the field of economics coming to next that is the department of political science if you are not good in maybe in others arena then you have you can be become a a, a politician but that's not true only with a political science department you can become a political analyst you can become a political scientist you can become a political uh, have get into the management 
you can become you can get into as become as an sdo and there are foreign policy analysts and so there are so many wide options which are available with a political science hindi hindi is again most of the people which are spoken language in not only in mumbai but all over india but how many of us really aware that with hindi you not you don't only become a teacher but it is also there are variety of government jobs which are offered through the department of hindi and which are highly paid jobs more than a lakh of rupees can be get and you can get into the the the, the most important industry like a nabard you can work as a hindi translator you can get into the television you can get into the uh, journalism you can be as a reporter i think the, the the there is a wide variety of options it's up to you what do you want to choose and what is the best for you wow look at the next year the bachelor of mass media bm mmc most vibrant department of national college i would say the one of the most vibrant department in the city of mumbai and we have we celebrate number of festivals and we have lots of the the the, the media people coming to the college in the classroom you, and look at the options here what we have it's not only in the advertising and in the journalism but here we have we teach children that how to carry the event management you are the photography the film making which has been done by the students have been presented several times in the college festivals and at the number of programs so it has a radio jockeying advertising public relation wide variety of options are available we also have a uh, batch uh, there is another option here we can say that bachelor of fine arts which we could see here that uh, which is uh, which is uh, available with the with the with the in the art stream here we can say so i would say that with arts and humanities when we look at it it offers a lot lots of variety it's not only the options you will find in the private sector i would say that perhaps one who has done a, a mba or maybe a ca or or something like that and who can get into the private sector job but believe me those who have studied the humanities they become an officer and they can get into the public sector and they can really make the policies for the countries because they are thinking the critical thinking the kind of communication which has been completely developed so right from teaching law you have nabard hotel management fashion designing event management there are lots of lots of options which are open within the career in the in the field of arts or i would call it the humanities so guys without wasting time i would say that this all things what we offer that is in the midst of the city of this mumbai and that is in the national college so i would request all of you fill your forms do accordingly and uh, fill up all the details and get into the national lights thank you so much over to you suman Thank you very much, sir. That was really a plethora of options that students have in the field of humanities. Thank you very much for orienting them about all of My that. My pleasure, ma'am. Uh, right before we orient you about filling of the online form, which we'll do very shortly, we'd like to take a moment and show you a video about the various college initiatives that are taken up by RD National College. So could we have the video please In 1947 when the entire nation was starting a new life there was one man whose main aim was to nurture the future of India that man was vidya sagar principal mr k m kundani along with barrister gopal das adwani he laid the foundation of our college in 1949 as the college flag unfurled for the first time the founders knew that it would never sag those who followed them would keep the flag flying high and their vision to provide education to all and to shape the young mind continues to be carried out by these great personalities
so much, sir. That was rather a magnificent display of all the wonderful activities taken up by the college. Lastly, we have Vice Principal, Head of Computer Science Department, Mr. Mr. Vipul Saluja, sir, who is going to orient you all on how to fill the online form. Sir, over to you. Thank you, Suman, ma'am. Good evening, every all of y'all. I would just take you through the steps of online form filling. Uh, the admission process for the the admission process for twelfth science or after twelfth standard graduation is completely different as compared to the admission process after the. Tenth uh, standard. After tenth standard, a student can take uh, has to fill up only one single form that is on FIJCORG. Unlike in tenth, after twelfth, a student has to fill up separate forms on the Mumbai University portal and on the different colleges. So I'll just take you through the various steps of admission, direct admission to the classes. Step one. Is first we need to register at the Mumbai University portal, that is m u m o a dot digital university dot a c. After registration on the Mumbai University portal, the student has to select a particular course, say B A, B Com, or B S C, and they have to select the college code. For example, the college code for Adi National College is one sixty three. Now, if a student wishes to apply for, say, BA and BA MMC course at Adi National College, so he has to do this process twice: first BA and Adi National College, and then BA MMC and Adi National College. Similarly, if a student wishes to apply for BCom, BAF, and BMS at Adi National College, he has to fill up the form thrice. So this is the process what the student has to follow. Uh, after this step. The student has to fill the form of the respective college. For example, if the student wants to fill the R D National College form, he has to go onto this link, and on this link, the student has to fill up the form. So, if a student wishes to apply at three colleges, and in each college, a student would be applying for two courses each. So, total is six. Colleges and six courses and college combinations. So uh, that is six. So student has to fill up six forms at the Mumbai University portal and six forms at the individual colleges. If a student does not fill up a form for a particular college, then he will not be considered for admission over there. Coming to Adi National College. Adi National College is offering direct admissions to the FIBA. And FIB Coim students who are the in-house students and the Sindhi minority students, the student has to register at the Mumbai University portal, select B Coim BA and the R D National College that is code number one sixty three, fill up the R D National College form, and the student will receive a SMS for paying the fees. This process is available from ninth June to twentieth June. On twentieth June, the in-house admissions for BA and BCom will close. There are walk-in admissions for the FIBAC course for courses like Physics, Chemistry, Mathematics, Physics, Mathematics, Statistics, Physics, Chemistry, Botany, Physics, Chemistry, Zoology, and Chemistry, Botany, Zoology. There is walk-in admission. The same process has to be done. The student has to register themselves at Mumbai M U M O A dot U Digital University dot A C. That is the Mumbai University portal. Then they have to select F I B A C and code college code one sixty three, which will allow them to take admission for B A C Computer Science at R D National College. And finally, fill the R D National College admission form. Thereafter, the student will be receiving an SMS for the payment of fees. After the payment of fees, the admission will be confirmed. This process is open for all students of all colleges 
whether they are from Adi National College or they are not from Adi National College, this is an open admission or a walk-in admission to the FIBSC. For the professional courses like the BAMMC, BMM, BCom, BMS, BAF, BSc, IT, Biotech and Computer Science. Also for the BA and BCom students, outsider students, the process for admission is as follows. The students need to register themselves at the Mumbai University portal. Next, they have to fill up, they have to select the course along with RD National College, that is the port number 163. The third step is to fill the RD and SS National College online admission form. And finally, if the student's name appears in the merit list, which would be declared thereafter, the student can seek admission by paying the fees. The student will be sent an SMS after the fee, after the admission has been, after the name has appeared in the merit list and student can pay the fees on the fee, fee payment fee payment portal. So this is all about the admission process. So unlike our admissions after 10th standard, wherein we used to just fill up a single form. Yahweh, you need to notice, you need to fill up different forms for different colleges as well as at the Mumbai University registration portal. That is it from my side. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. I'm sure that was very, very helpful to the students. Thank you so much. Thank you, dear students, for your time and your patient listening. It's rightly said that the future belongs to those who believe in the beauty of their dreams. So dare to dream and take that leap. We truly hope that after this very fruitful session, you're one step closer to your dream and you will make the right career choice for yourselves. Thank you all.